Hey guys, so this is a video that's going to talk about Doc Martens, the iconic Doc Martin 1460 8 eyelet boot to be specific. Um, it's basically just going to be my thoughts and my opinion, uh, why I still wear mine, why I still like the Doc Martens, why I think a lot of people still like Doc Martens, and uh, why they're still so popular uh, among many. Um, are there more comfortable boots available? Absolutely. Are there more expensive boots available? Of course. Uh, so these aren't that cheap, you know, to begin with, but you know, that you can get into boots that cost, you know, upwards of like three, four, five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars or more. Um, so, you know, if you're into boots, you know, why would you even own, still own a pair of docks, you know? and that's kind of where I'm coming from because I've definitely gotten to the point where I've spent more on boots, have more comfortable boots, uh, have you know some resolable Goodyear welted ones that I really like, but I still keep coming back to wearing my docks and my rotation for my wardrobe. Um, this is not going to be a video taking apart a boot and looking at the anatomy of the dock. If you like that sort of video, I can definitely recommend Rose Anvil's channel. Uh, great videos. The guy like cuts boots and footwear in half and it's really interesting to see you know what's inside of these things. He does a video on not just the Doc Martens but like the the made in England versus the Asian made Doc Martens how they're different. I found that stuff pretty interesting. Um, also Stridewise's channel uh, if you like boots that guy has done tons of boot reviews and a lot of good insight on different boots uh, different price ranges uh, and different styles, different uh, just all all over uh, with those boots. Um, so, anyways, Docs. Um, why do why do I still wear them? <laughs> because I like them, right? Uh, why do I think a lot of people still wear them? It, you know, part of it I believe is you know fashion statement. Uh, they definitely have a distinct look about them. Uh, you could buy a pair of you know, let's say $450 boots or more um, and wear those and most people may not recognize them as like, oh wow, those are some like really expensive boots. I mean, they might say they look really nice, but you know, they're not going to sell. If you're wearing a Doc Martin, people see that, see the, you know, distinctive, you know, yellow gold stitching on the welt and say, oh, nice Docs. Okay. I can tell you this, I do own, I do own a pair of Alden Indie 405 boots, the uh, the indie boot made famous by Harrison Ford because uh, he wore that style of boot uh, in Indiana Jones, much more expensive than a Doc Martin, and I definitely get more comments and sometimes mostly compliments when I wear my Docs. It's just people just tend to recognize them more. Um, they have a distinct look. They look good with jeans. They look good casual. You can dress them up a little bit. I wouldn't say wear a tuxedo with them, obviously, but you know I have worn them with a suit. The black ones, anyways, uh, shined them up real nice, and uh, they've gone fine with a suit too. Um, the other thing, like I said, nostalgia. A lot of people I talk to that still wear Docs, my friends that have Docs, you know, talk about you know that first pair they had or a pair that they had that seemed to last forever. They put them through the ringer, you know, they used them, they abused them, and they just kept on going. Um, my first pair, my parent, my parents bought me at the end of my eighth grade. Um, and eighth grade graduation basically and I bought them uh, my parents bought them a size big so I could grow into them and I kid you not I wore those things from the end of eighth grade through my sophomore year of college a lot like that was my only pair of docks I wore them as much as I could uh, rain sunshine snow didn't matter I wore those things there was even a time I played tennis in them because I forgot to bring my actual tennis shoes with me and I you know, I had no choice but to wear those and not comfortable, but, um, you know, their fashion statement, they, they were initially, not to make this a history video of Doc Martens, but they've been around for decades and they were initially designed for people with foot problems. And then they kind of gained traction with pop culture because we had like, you know, rock stars wearing them, celebrities, uh, people from all walks of life, uh, punks, uh, skinheads, all different types of people wearing Docs in their own way and own style. And they kind of just became very iconic. Um, they were almost all made in England pretty much until I believe the early 2000s when they outsourced to Asia. Now a lot of people 
debate that, you know, once they outsourced to Asia, man, the quality really went down. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I'm only speaking from my personal experience, but I did own one pair of Asian docks that were, I don't remember if they were made in China or Thailand, but I was pretty disappointed because I paid almost the same price as for a made in England pair, and they were done in like less than two years. The leather was cracking, the welt was coming apart. So the docks that I'm talking about, my boots personally, are all of the made in England variety. Okay, so you can pick these up online. Uh, you can, if there's a freestanding Doc Martin store near you, they sell the made in England's as well. They are more expensive than the Asian made counterparts. Uh, I recommend, when I picked all three of these up uh, on different Christmases, basically, around Christmas time they run a pretty darn good sale. I believe they run like 25% off the price for everything around that time, like a Black Friday, Cyber Monday type deal. And so that's when I jumped on it and picked these up. Um, I can say that, so I've had this pair for seven years, had this pair for three years, and I've had this pair for about four years. Uh, I don't wear them every day, obviously, but I do wear, I do rotate them pretty regularly into my wardrobe. Um, these two pairs are the vintage um, made in England pair. So the leather is that Doc Martin leather. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's like Quillen or Quillon. Um, let me know if you know how to pronounce it. <laughs> but anyways, it's that corrected grain leather that's smoother on the surface. Uh, you know, fair amount of thickness, not the thickest, okay, but these aren't, I'm, I mean, I'm, these aren't really meant to be used like on a work site or anything like that. This is a special edition pair that I got made with Horween's Dublin leather, and it's very, very supple, um, a little more matte finish than their Doc Martin leather there. Uh, gold eyelets on this one, or brass eyelets, I mean. Um, but yeah, this is much more supple leather so, like I said, uh, I think my opinion is the main reason people still wear them and like them is that fashion statement, that look, that, you know, that unmistakable, man, you're wearing Doc, those are some Doc Martens. Um, as well as that nostalgic feel of, you know, I just had a pair, I had a pair for years or I put a pair through the ringer, they lasted forever and, you know, they're just good boots all around. Again, are there better options? Yeah. Right, so what are some gripes about Doc Martens? What are some gripes that I personally have about Doc Martens, but yet I still continue to wear them because I like them so much? Um, some of my gripes are, you know, the fit. It's not the best fitting boot. I've got better fitting boots than this. Um, I've got a low volume foot, skinny uh, ankles, narrow heels, and I've got a wide forefoot. So it's kind of like, <laughs> fitting boots is tough for me. Um, these, you know, they're made for higher volume feet, so just confession here, I do put a small insole in my docks to raise my foot up a little bit to fill it in a bit better. When I lace these up, because of my skinny ankles, they're always, these, the tops are always touching. I mean, there's no getting around it. Even when I wear thicker socks, I may get a little separation, but that's one of it. Uh, my, um, the other thing is, you know, some people claim, you know, the leather's not that great. Yeah, there's definitely better leather out there, but, you know, that's part of the whole Doc Martin look, that corrected grain, that, you know, a little bit shinier leather. Um, it's part of the whole look. Um, some people don't like the fact that, they, you know, they're not a truly Goodyear welted boot, um, and they're not actually resolable. Those are some claims. So, um, I don't know, out of my circle of friends who own Docs, None of nobody I know has gotten their docks resold. Can it be done? I've heard it can. Um, if you go to a cobbler that's willing to try or do it, I've heard it can be. If you know of a cobbler or if you've got docks that you have resold, let me know about that and how that worked out for you. Um, but because of their Goodyear welt process, basically they've stitched you know, the welt to the upper, but then basically they take a hot knife there's videos on this online too, and basically melt the rest of the sole onto that boot. So it is it is stitched to the upper, but it's two pieces like melted together, and then it's it's just attached to the upper, um, which would make resoling. I'm no cobbler, but I'm assuming that would make resoling kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so can they be resold? Can they not be resold? 
like I said, my personal experience, I've never had any of mine resold. That being said, uh, like I said, this is seven years not being worn every day, and my soles on this one still look pretty good. Okay, there is some wear to them. They are a little uneven on the heel there. You know, the ones I wear most often now are the red ones, actually, my oxblood ones, and they're still going pretty strong. And then these, I mean, the Dublins, I don't wear them that often, so the, the heels are almost like new, or the, the soles are almost like new. But as for my uses, the soles, especially with these made in England ones, they hold up, they hold up great. Um, I, don't, I don't go playing tennis in them anymore. I do take care of my stuff, so that's the other thing. You know, it doesn't matter if your boot costs you 50 bucks or if your boot costs you, you know, $700. Uh, if you don't take care of it, if you abuse it, if you do, you know, if you know, if you do things in your boots that you know are just gonna get them damaged, then they're just not gonna last as long. That's just basic common sense, I think. So I do take care of not just my docks, but all my other boots. You know, put leather conditioner on them. With these, you know, I've got the the red oxblood wax or the black wax to you know kind of cover up scuffs and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, the other thing is docks, you know, they don't have a shank in them. I've heard that the ones from the 90s, like maybe my first pair that I had, did have like a wooden shank in it. I never, you know, cut it open like Rose Anvil would do to actually find out. But because there is no shank in these boots, wood or metal, um, eventually they do, that is a softer sole and it does lose a little bit of stability. Um, that's not really been a huge issue for me. Personally, now I know some people say you know it, it makes wearing them for like ten hours at a time on your feet you know less pleasant you know not as pleasant. I don't know for me it's not a problem. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, docks you know they're still worth it in my opinion. If you get I I would just go my opinion is if you're gonna buy docks get the made in England's or get one of the ones that are made in England. Uh, you got to have a black pair, and in my opinion, you should, if you can, get a red pair too. Those are like the iconic dock colors. Um, uh, do you wear them? Do you still think they're worth it? Do you have a good Doc Martin story? Let me know. Put it in the comments. And uh, that's about it. Uh, talk to you guys later. See ya.